red archerman. On feathered feet they walk at night across the desert sand. The thought of them will bring great fear to women, child and man. They're garbed in hair from kangaroo and daubed in human blood, with emu feathers framing faces, tribal masks that bode no good. The killing bone, the kundala, the root of the destruction, will never fail, for it contains the tribe's spoken instructions. They seek their victim far and wide, relentless, tracking spore. The kundala is pointed, tribal justice done once more. No words on tribal law are found written down in text. The fact that it's off left modern courtrooms more than somewhat vexed. It's a simple fact of life, a form of tribal retribution. Known to all, feared and respected. One which shows no absolution. An ancient feared part of their culture handed down from father to son by word of mouth, a justice old but sound. A law strongly encoded into each group's tradition. Defy the elders if you dare. That road leads to perdition. The elders set the punishment and their word is the law within their tribal groups. It's been this way since long before the coming of the white man with laws they think fit the crime. Tribal laws come from the ancient ones, relate to their dream time. But speak of the Kadaicha men, this story will impart great fear in the Aborigine, for they know the tale by heart. They have knowledge of the singing and those who walk in feathered shoes. It's a story from their dreaming. Believe it if you choose.